Is your mic on? Yeah, your mic's on, Adapa. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to lean in the mic, so we can scoot him a little bit closer if you... Yeah. And welcome into the Tyus Thank Bowser you. Show live from the Bowman. We got a great crowd out here tonight. We got a lot of people to thank for making the show possible. My name is Glenn Clark. I'm going to introduce you to the people that you actually care about here in a second. First of all, I need to thank Dan Llewellyn for making all of this possible. Dan Llewellyn, Betsum Entertainment USA, works with the Bowman with Riverwatch, which is a beautiful place too. And he's got an incredible event coming up. I want to tell you guys about this. This is remarkable. On November 14th, the Mike Lambros Festival, hosted by Wendy Townsend, who you know from 98 Rock. Featuring live music from Grumpy Myrtle, Rob Fahey, and the pieces Eclipse. Sh oh my gosh, the Rat Pack. The actual Rat Pack? Wow, that's amazing. The Funk Junkies and so much more. All to raise money to get Mike Lambros' ashes to Delaney. And Sugar Jack, too, yes. Sugar Jack, to get Mike Lambros' ashes uh, to Delaney Valley with his family. That's amazing. That's River Watch on November 14th. Please go check that out. Please, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the host of the show. He is Mr. Tyus Bowser. Hello, 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 everybody. Glad to be here. Glad to see this crowd, man. Everybody looks amazing. Glad to see everybody here, man. Man, it is, it is good to see you. Uh, I have to address something. I'm sorry for my voice, but it's yeah. really your guy's fault. Uh, oh, uh, man. <laughs> anybody else lose their voice on Sunday? Yeah. I nearly lost mine, too. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> Only it was crazy. Hey, uh, you brought out a guest with you tonight. We had a lot of fun with Anthony last week. He was tremendous. You brought out somebody. Um, I don't know if this is the deal where, like, you tell the rookies they got to come out. That's the way it works. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. But I know my guy. You know, he's busy too. He's a grown man. You know, he has things to do. So, just the fact that he's able to come out here and spend some time with us, man, means a lot to me. You know, personally. You want, you want to go ahead and introduce him? Yeah, man, my guy, number ninety-nine, out of New Jersey. Penn State University, first round draft pick, Adafe Owe. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Thank you for coming. I see all these 99 jerseys, it's a blessing. I'm happy to be here. Man, thank you, Adafe, thank you so much for coming out. By the way, look at that hat. That hat is amazing, man. Y'all like Adafe's Orioles hat? That's a good look. That is a really good look, man. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, all right, let's just get right into it, Tyus. Were your eyes open? Were they, you? They okay. were. They were open. All and right, take me through the entire range of emotions as the guys get back out on the field. We get to fourth and nineteen. Like, take me through everything that you experienced until the moment you realized that that, that kick had gone through. Well, I mean, I was sitting down at first and. I was like, all right, Justin coming up here, I didn't see him, you know, kick some 60 yarders, 61 yarders. I think he did something like 70 yards back in practice, something like that. So I was like, you know what, let me stand up for this. <laughs> I think this might be something worth watching. You, okay, besides you're, the screen. you're saying you believed, you believed he was going to make the field goal. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. All right. I mean, if you see it in practice, you see it during warmups, I mean, there's no other way than to believe that he's going to make it. So, I mean, it started with that. Then I looked up, I'm like, man, he's like on the Lions logo. Like, this is a far, <laughs> this is a very far kick. So, I mean, he snapped the ball and I just seen just his whole demeanor and just how he approached the ball. I said, oh, he kind of got some little energy to him. <laughs> and I seen him kicking out and I just seen it in the air and it was just moving. I said, oh my gosh, like it's straight away. It's going to be between the posts. And I was like, but this mug is still in the air. I'm like, this one might actually make it. <laughs> so it gets close. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And it hit. And I know which way it either went. But I seen it flying. And I seen it hit the net. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm yelling. I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I was like, bro, I actually just witnessed this in person. And I was just thinking back because I remember they was talking about how he was there before. Yeah, kicked a 61 yard. 61 yeah. yard to win, and that's kind of like how he made a name for himself. So I was like, man, to come back in the same exact place, in the same exact situation, and to do this making history, 
as the longest field goal in NFL history, man. It was it was a sight to see. You'll always be able to say that you were there. Always, yeah, right? Always. Adafi, what about you? Did you did you believe? Did you are you willing to admit maybe that you were a little bit nervous? Like anything like that? Nah, so I'm always gonna believe my teammates, but obviously I'm a rookie. I'm uh you know, I, I haven't been like witnessing all the practices and everything. So, you know, I had some I was I was skeptical. And everyone was calling him the GOAT. Everyone was saying he's the greatest kicker of all time and all that stuff. But I wanted to see it. So, like, you know, I, I couldn't give him all my belief yet. So when everyone was telling me, all right, just just believe in me. Everyone knows that he's he's gonna make this kick. Everyone knows that he's the greatest. So I'm like, okay, okay. Let me see how let me see what it's gonna shake like. So then he gets up to the place where he's about to kick it. And he has just so much confidence that I'm like, okay, he might actually do it. So then he kicks it. And then it's in the air, it's in the air, it's in the air. But then it starts going down, like a downward trajectory. So I'm like, wow, he's about to miss. <laughs> but then he's about to miss. But then it hits the pole, it hits the uh, the, uh, the goal post, and then it goes the other direction. Everyone goes, starts going crazy. My coach pulls his hamstring. We got to talk about that. We got to talk about that. Everyone is on the field, swarming him. Tuck looks like he's scared because everyone is swarming him. I'm swarming him as well. So, you know, it was just crazy. But, you know, I, I, I know now never to, you know, not disbelieve him. I always know to trust him now. So. My God, man. What else could you do? What else could you do? 66 yarder. Uh, Tyus, did you let, we've talked about this before, like your reaction, did you let out a scream? Did you? Oh like, yeah, I definitely scream, man. man. <laughs> so Just, did the rest of the city, by the way. <laughs> oh, definitely. Oh, and you should have heard the crowd in there too. I mean, it was completely quiet. Tyus, I got to, my friend Rita is sitting right up front. This is the NFL chick, Sarita Hubbard, ladies and gentlemen. And Rita and I do the post game show together on Sundays. Uh -huh. And Rita, I let out a string of F words and, oh, and, <laughs> and other words you're not supposed to say in front of your mom who's sitting right there with her Yo, for a solid five minutes after the kick. Wow. <laughs> it was one of my favorite moments that I've ever had watching football, man. Definitely, it was, man. it was truly incredible. Definitely. Man, yeah, we. Oh, oh, don't. I didn't cry, but I, there was. Oh, he cried. There was. You shed some tears. No, there was some emotion. That's you all. There was some tears, emotion. What, 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 I mean, we're all men. We can admit, admit it, we man. You shed it. some tears, man. It's okay. Man, I was emotional. Okay for men to cry. I was emotional. You don't get to see special things every day. You're right. You but don't it's okay get to, see to admit that you shed a couple tears, <laughs> man. It's okay, man. <laughs> All right, maybe one, maybe okay. one, Okay. maybe one. Did anybody else shed a tear? No, just me. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it is. Hey, either of you guys ever kickers at any point in your life? Did you ever? I was, yeah, I was a kicker um, my freshman year. Um, I did the kickoffs. I did the field goals. Um, What's the longest kick you ever made in your life? Just where the two, where they put the ball at the two yard line. <laughs> the and get to point. The team. Yeah, the extra, extra point. point. That's the process yeah. I did, but I did kickoffs and it'll get to the, it'll probably get to like the five yard line. If, if we, if they got to a point where so many dudes were hurt that you had to be the emergency kicker on a Sunday, what would be the longest you think you would possibly be able to make? Probably like 30. 30? All right. That's 30, not bad, man. 30, that's yeah. not bad. That's probably Adop you ever mess around and try? No, no that's, not my, that's not my forte. I use Let's, my hands. You, you know what you're good at, and you just yeah. sort of leave it at that. You know what you're good at. Yeah. Man, that was a special day. It was a heck of a special it day was. being a part of this, something like that. Um, we are out here at the Bowman for the Tyus Bowser Show. I want to thank Chesapeake Beverage for making this possible as well. Great Eights memorabilia. Big thank you to them to Express Exterior Design seriously huge part of everything that we're doing here we're going to tell you more about them i want to talk to both you guys about uh someone that you've gotten to know and i haven't had a chance to talk to you about it yet tyus but justin houston comes into baltimore this year and there's been a lot made about justin and the time he spends after practice and working with you guys what has it meant to you to be able to spend time with a dude like that what has he brought to who you are as a football team Oh man, he's brought like a different type of energy that I feel that as a player, as a team, that you need in the locker room. And um, I'm not too far of a locker mate from him. So, I mean, I'm always around him, whether we playing music and he's reciting the lyrics or he's really? dancing or he's coming up with his own stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it just make you laugh and it just gives you that energy that you need. Sometimes, you know, you might be having a rough day or you might be going through some things and 
You know, he's always around there. He's willing to talk to you. You know, he's always down to conversate with you about different things. But I mean, just his energy in there is always awesome. That's incredible. Adafi, what's it been like being around a legend like that in your first NFL season? Yeah, it's a blessing. Like, I, like I always make the little analogy, Justin is like Yoda. Like he, wow. tells, he tells me everything when it comes, as, if it's off the field, if it's on the field, like he just gives me the keys to life, you know, and I really appreciate him because, you know, it could be a, it could be a, another way, you know, you, you hear about, you know, vets that don't always, you know, want to give you the keys because they want to better themselves. You know, Justin's the complete opposite. He's always teaching me stuff, you know, financially, things with family. Like when you come, when you come to Southern Wealth, you know, how to handle everything around, you know, with family members, friends and everything. He always teaches me stuff like that. And obviously on the field, like he's, he's second to no one, you know, he teaches me stuff with, you know, rush angles and, you know, how to just approach the game like a professional. You know, I've been really grateful for everything he's, he's taught me and I'm, what he's going to teach me in the future. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, we were talking last week with Tyus. Tyus was aware of the doubters that you guys had going into Kansas City. He was, he was aware of all that. You, Adafi, have dealt with a lot of doubters, right? Like, as you came into the league, there were a lot of people that wanted to bring up one particular number. Um, Zero you, and I, you and I actually <laughs> talked before the draft last year, and I remember we talked about it. Because, this, you know, it's what everybody was talking about. How good has it felt for you to sort of be able to give the old proverbial middle finger so far <laughs> to everyone who is a doubter of yours coming out of Penn State last season? Oh, uh, you know, I haven't given that finger yet. You know, I feel like I still have more more stuff to prove. Um, you know, you're always gonna have doubters. I probably still have a lot of. A Yo, lot you just more. you beat the Kansas City Chiefs. You don't think that was proving some doubters? Or... Uh, <laughs> I didn't beat them. Our team beat them. But I, you know. I know that's true. I know that's true. <laughs> but um, you know, just 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 always believing in yourself, betting on yourself, and that's what I've always been been doing, and that's what I'm gonna keep on doing until. I have no, no more doubters, but you know, that's, that's just how it goes. You know, um, you were telling us about Adafe last week, Tyus. You were telling us about how impressed you were from moment one, right? Can you, for people that didn't get to hear it last week, can you speak to what this dude to your right has done to be able to come in immediately and make this type of impact? Yeah, man, Adafe is just a raw talent that, you know, the sky's just the limit for him. And, you know, he comes out every day and works hard. You know, he's always willing to learn from everybody, you know, regardless of who it is. He's always willing to put in the extra work, uh, always asking questions. And, you know, as a teammate, you know, you you enjoy seeing, you know, that type of talent out there and, you know, just being around him. You know, you want to help guys like that, especially, you know, you know, he's going to be a part of the team. He's going to help us win. So, you know, as a teammate, you want to do everything you can to help this guy. And he's been the best teammate ever, and whenever he's out there, you know, I'm confident in him. Just like, you know, this past week, it was only three of us. Right, right. Me, <laughs> Fee, and Dafe, and, Shoot. you know, we had to kind of hold the fourth for the outside linebacker group, uh, edge rushers, and, you know, every time we out on the field, we like, man, let's go out there and ball, man. Get to the quarterback, whatever situations, man, if I need to, you know, move to the other side, if you feeling like you can beat this guy, man, let me know. I just want you, I just want you, Playing fast, yeah, once you awesome. at your best, man. Yeah. And that's all I want for this guy, man. Yeah. Just the best. All right, uh, Tyus, we're going to have to talk about it. You know, we were trying to manifest you a touchdown last week. <laughs> oh, we were trying God. to manifest yeah. it. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> you're, you're so, we know that you can catch the football. Like, we yeah. know how good you are at yeah, it. Yeah, man. We have to, what, what happens? Mm -hmm. And, like, at the end of the day, that still should have been a turnover. I have no idea what the hell happened when I went back and looked yeah. at it. It still should have been a turnover. I mean, I can come up with anything and everything to say about it, man. But, you know, it was just one of them plays I didn't make. And it hurt me. It Shoot. really hurt me. Shoot. You know, not only to help my team, you know, put them in a good position to score, you know, but just, you know, Hearing it from the guys on the sideline. That's what I wanted to get to. <laughs> man, it was it was tough, but you know, I just had to I just had to take it in and just be like, man, you know what? I missed that. I know I'm not perfect. You know, I'm a player. You know, I'm gonna make some mistakes. I'm not gonna, you know, make every pass, every yep. interception or sack or whatever. But I'm gonna go out there and play, man. All right. So, what are the rules, Adafe, when something like that happens? And like, you know, that's your boy. You know, he's gonna make a million plays, and you know, he's killing himself. But like you still have to say something to him, right? You know, 
He owes me. He owes me dinner next time. That's, I feel <laughs> nah. like that's the, that's what he has to do. Is that the reason why you're here? Is yeah, it? <laughs> you, you owe me dinner. This is on you. <laughs> <laughs> But nah, um, I believe in Tyus. Of course. Know, I believe in Tyus. He's gonna make make it up next three times, three times over. Is and, when, hang on, is is there like any sort of like kind of rule to that? Like if somebody if somebody drops something, like they gotta they gotta pay for is there is that maybe, another? No, nah, there's not a rule, but let's 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 start it now though. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. If I like this, if somebody has a great chance to make a play and doesn't make it. Then they gotta pay for dinner the next time you guys go out. You gotta pay for dinner. That's a hey, pretty. And if that's the case, then we might just do a whole team dinner for all the <laughs> miss tackles. That's miss fair too. That. That's might true. Have a team that's true. Dinner. That is fair it. too. You brought up uh, Drew Wilkins. Oh God. My God, man. I didn't even know about it. So okay, so for those that don't know, Drew Wilkins, outside linebackers coach. Yes. He did what while celebrating the kick at the end of the game? Grade two. Hamstring pull. <laughs> like the dude two. legitimately pulled his hamstring. Yes. Celebrate. Yes. High step. High stepping. High step. High step. High stepping. Oh. Now, how? To, in terms of, we talk about having fun with somebody. What's the rule to that? Because like he legitimately hurt himself. Yeah. Like, what are the rules? And the crazy part is they get on us for if you're gonna celebrate, don't hurt yourself. Like on a Lamar little tumble. Right. You can't. You can't do that. If you're not gonna hurt yourself. Obviously, he didn't hurt himself, but. You know, they, they get on us for that. But then he does a little high step. And he's the steps. guy telling that to you. Right? Exactly, like, telling us that. And then he injures himself. Looks like he got shot or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you say to him, Tyus? What do you, what do you, do you have to, you know, bust his balls a little bit, right? <laughs> I mean, we was in meetings and he was like, man, you're going to have to show me a couple of them stretches that you be doing before <laughs> practice. I'm like, we need to do something because what I've seen on film, that doesn't look good for you, man, at all. And he was just telling me how it was just all on TMZ or something like that, and Marlon. Yeah, he got a lot it. of attention from yeah, me. Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is really bad. Like, <laughs> Thank God, yeah. thank God it's him and not one of you guys, of no, course. For real. Like, no. that would obviously be far yeah, worse if that were the case. Yeah, that'll be bad. But my God, man, like. No, nah, that was. That was a laughter that I really needed. That did you okay? Did I you did you see it? Did you know it at, on the field at all? Or it didn't no, happen? I was no. on the I was on the field running while the ball was still in the air. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like oh my gosh! Like he's about to make this. I'm about running, to give you guys so a twelve man panel uh, on the field panel. Yeah. <laughs> we were looking at film. I see Marlon. He's on the field and he hadn't even kicked the ball yet. I'm like. <laughs> Yo, we really about to get a whole flag out here. On, a, on the greatest on kick in football history. Yes, and it's exactly. about yes. To that would be bad. Yes. <laughs> Could you crazy. even imagine? Could you even imagine if that had gone down? They never, they never throw that flag in a million years. And somebody no asked that today too. They was like, bro, I think Levine asked that. He was like, bro, what if you would have got a flag on this for being out on the field too early? He will be. Oh my God! I can't, <laughs> right. I can't even. Think. You know, there's a famous story from from the last Super Bowl where the Ravens had to punt it back to the 49ers at the end of the game with like three seconds left, and Joe Flacco says to everybody on the sideline, "If they break it, just run out there and tackle them. Oh, like, what are we gonna do? Right? Wow. <laughs> like, just run yeah. out there and tackle them. That's what are they gonna do? We gotta try to win the Super Bowl, man. Exactly. That's the way it goes. Exactly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, make some more noise for Tyus Bowser and Adafi Owe. Express Exterior Design is a family-owned business with over 28 years of experience with roofing, windows, siding, gutters, and doors, servicing Maryland, Delaware, and Southern Pennsylvania. They stand behind trust, quality, and integrity. And just remember, your job isn't finished until you're fully satisfied. Find out more at ExpressExteriorDesign.com. That's Express without the first E or by calling 855-699-7378. Luke Jackson is here. What's up, Luke? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna give you a chance to get some free money. Y'all like free money? I want you to do this for me right free now. Free money, and that's all that, I, that you get? Is just I think, a, I think you can actually, laps? I think the law says you could do this too, man. I think you can do this man, too. For some free money. Yeah. I want you to take out your phone right now. I want you to download the Underdog Fantasy Football app. When you sign up, you're going to deposit $10. We're going to give you $10 on the app to play with for free, but there's more. We're going to hand you $10 in cash if you do it tonight. 
the first 15 people that do it tonight, we're going to hand you $10 in cash. All right. So you're not going to be paying a thing for signing up. Go to the underdog fantasy football app. Use the code press box, deposit 10 bucks. And then you see this gentleman right here in the black shirt named John. Come say hello to John and say, I did it. Show it to him. The first 15 of you that do it are going to get 10 bucks. Just as simple as that. And you can win money playing underdog fantasy football. We'll come back in more of the Tyus Bowser show. That's next. Lou, Angelo, can you um, leave my mic on for one second? And then turn the other guy's mics off. Guys, we're going to start making a line right up here, if you would, for a few minutes. We're going to let the guys say hello. Please be respectful. I'm going to step in if necessary. Please be respectful with the guys. Thank you so much. I'm gonna run to the bathroom. Nobody comes up here to meet me. Oh, they will. I appreciate you, man.
Welcome back into the Tyus Bowser Show live from the Bowman in Parkville. I'm Glenn Clark. He is, of course, Tyus Bowser, your host, and his special guest tonight is Adafe Owe. We want to thank Great Eights Memorabilia for making this possible. Great Eights Memorabilia is incredible. I love working with Chris and his team on all of their events. Baltimore Celeb Fest 2 is coming to Benfield Sports Center October 16th and features the Great Eight stable of pro wrestling stars like Kurt Angle, the Inspiration, formerly known as the Iconics, the beautiful people, Tessa Blanchard, and the Briscoes. Also, if you need any help with fundraising or you're a company looking to get exposure, Great Eight's memorabilia will help you reach all of your goals and beyond. Get your meet and greet tickets for Baltimore Celeb Fest and check out all the upcoming signings and the best pricing on memorabilia anywhere in Maryland by visiting GreatEightsMemorabilia.com. That's Great Eights with the number eight. Tyus, you and I were talking before the show. I'm doing something crazy with my life. I'm jumping out of a plane tomorrow. Oh, man. You, are you a thrill seeker? Like, are you the type that, like, is down to do crazy stuff? I mean, you play professional football. I like that. Roller coaster, not for you, but very responsible. Yeah, uh, that's that's the type of guy I am. Uh, yeah. What's on your bucket list? What are things you've never done in your life that you have to do at some point? And besides winning the Super Bowl, yeah, of course. Um, definitely what you're doing with the Rock and Roller Coaster. That's my next one. Okay, and then uh, climbing a mountain, not the steepest mountain, but definitely one of the like a legit. Good sign for steep it's scuba nice, diving. But I, mean, I, can, I can learn how to you know, do it better than that. But I definitely want to try that. I yeah. think you would have to be a pretty strong swimmer in order to do it. Yeah. Uh, Adafe, what about you? Are you a thrill seeker? Um, if I am, it's probably going to be the Super Bowl. Okay. Right. Swim with a tiger. Yeah. Can tigers swim? I legitimately don't nah, know. I just saw a video of someone swimming with a lion or a tiger. I think it was a tiger. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think about. That's definitely a thing. Oh. So, what is, okay, give me, do you have any fears? Tyson, we'll start with you. Do you have any, any like fears in your life that, even if they're like just mundane? Say you've had a little epiphany in your life. No, I got bitten by a few of them, and it wasn't successful. Did you become a Spider Man? I don't know, man. I, <laughs> I ain't got no webs coming out my wrist yet, but <laughs> you know. I mean, How I many know. times have you been bitten by a spider? One. Okay, and what happened? Did you say I was sleep? Like I was, you were. I was sleep out of that one. And you then were out. I just I do remember like feeling something. I kind of woke up sleeping a little bit. It's not okay. It's not okay. So what is your reaction if you see a spider? I mean, I'm not going to just run or, you know, say I'm going to chase it. I mean, I'm going to kill it. <laughs> but I'm going to make sure I'm prepared. Just same, case. same thing with a snake, or would you legit run with a snake? The snake is a little different. Yeah. It, just, it depends okay. on what snake it is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Unless you have a machete in your hand. Oh, it's yeah. A, it's I got a machete. I'm good to go. Adopt it. What about you? Yeah, any fears? Um, I'm thinking about that pilot. Or that like you're supposed to try to intimidate it, like you're supposed to get. I think that's the word. That you're supposed to get in a bear's face and legitimately attempt to intimidate it that's to get it. That's the praying to God and saying my prayers. <laughs> a bear, bro. It's a different kind of bear. Yeah, that's what that. Correct. That's that. Yeah. I don't know why you should be able to do it, but okay. Um, Adabi, when did you know football? When did you know? When was that? Yeah, so 
So the guy next to me is a family member. Have you guys had a have you had a day yet? Have you had a we've had our talks, man. We've had our talks. <laughs> has has the game been arranged? Mm-hmm. Nothing to, nothing to say we'll be going to the game. Um that's 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 But he's seen my jump shot though. He's seen my jump shot. Is he is he legit? Yeah, they got him a little jump shot. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. He okay. he, he can't brother, hear you. Right? Quite simple. What's he doing? What's he even doing? I missed out on you. I missed out on that. You gotta, you gotta tighten that up a little bit. You gotta tighten that up. No, but it's got a little, it's got a little thing around it. You know? Yeah. At some point, maybe there'll be a. Oh yeah, for sure. We'll find out. All right, all right. So you can't. If you did it now, you could find out about it like when you got hurt. Exactly. Exactly. Right. It'd be a real thing. Right. Right. We'll save that. We'll save that for another time. Um, you told us something last week, Thias, that. Everybody told me I needed to, to, to really grill you about it a little bit. You admitted you were watching The Crown on Netflix. Yes, I now do. Tell me about how you came to The Crown and why that was the deal you did. Um, well, I don't know. It's something about an English dragon that just keeps catching my attention. Really? Yeah, but then I'm out one day and it's sitting in my kids' room and I'm learning about, you know, different uh, figures. Uh, just in world history, whether it's American history, just from other countries. So, you know, you always hear about Queen Elizabeth and just her life and what she's been through. You know, she's... You're, like, really into it. Yeah, and it's really it's good. Bad. It's really You're watching good. The Crown, too. I'm not watching it, but I watch a few episodes. Okay, all right, yeah, all right. It's really good, and it's very interesting, and you bring in different... Uh, just really heroes and different people that you heard of, you know what I'm saying? And you get to learn about them. You get to learn about just how the whole family tree works out with, you know, who's next to the crown and, you know, what's going on between their marriage and just the lifestyle and what they go through. And I just find that very interesting. I thought it was all just like a, a reality show drama thing. Like I thought I'm a they big were tra- reality show guy too, but I mean. I didn't. I didn't know what Give to expect. Me, okay, from what's your go-to reality show? I can't. Oh, oh, wait a second. Is this gonna be as embarrassing as when I admit Probably, I cried? Probably, because I mean, these are more like you know, female. Are you watching guys. Real Housewives? Are you? I watch Real Housewives Whoa. of Atlanta a couple Whoa. times. Uh, Don't judge it. You know my love and hip hop. Okay, um, all right, all right. I, things. Uh, I've been big on BT, so a couple of Tyler Perry shows, uh, The Oval. I watched, um, what's it called, Sisters okay. um, with my cousins. So, I mean, a couple of reality TV shows. Ad- Adafi, are you, are you saying that you watch Real Housewives? Or? I've watched Real Housewives. Man! Uh, Love and Hip Hop, the Kardashian shows. Yeah, the Kardashian You watch shows. all the Kardashian shows? Not all of them, but, you know, it's, it's good content sometimes. Oh, man, good. what do you mean by good content? <laughs> what do you mean by good content? Nah, expose me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I it's, feel- it's it's content like that's for sure it's content there's something going on there. it's just a little drama man just you know get away from you know your life and what you go through and you just figure you'll see what everybody else is going through everybody you know? thinks that football players is like the toughest like watching shoot them up like that's all no, you're gonna do no. you're like no bro we're watching real housewives yeah, man. You know? watching the kardashians that's yeah, what's going on exactly. in our lives man i respect it i've got embarrassing things in my past i you, promise you, you tell me a few of them Oh boy, I uh, I watched the Jersey Shore a oh, lot. Yeah. Uh, you know what? That's crazy because that was that's what got me into reality TV. Really? Was Jersey Shore? Really? Yes. I, I used to actually live right near there. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Sure. Wait, wait. Uh-huh. So, like in, in Seaside Heights or exactly? Yeah. Really? I live like 17 minutes away from there. Wait, did you ever see them? Like I, th- I saw um, Snooky. I saw Snooky once, and then uh, Polly D. That's cool, yeah, man. I'm a he, big part by the way, he genuinely seems cool, right? No, he's a cool like, dude, man. He's a cool I hate dude. admitting that, but like, no, he seems... like Pauly D is somebody that I looked up to when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was super chill. He stayed out of drama. That's true. He mind his own business, and he lived life to the fullest. And he's a. I've actually seen him DJ you before. Can. Like, That's how you do it. Really, he's legit, man. Like, he's what legit. better life can you ask for, man? It's so embarrassing that we all admitted to watching the Jersey it's Shore. It's okay, man. <laughs> Went it's three okay. for three. We're human. We like that type of stuff. 
All right, I'm going to give you both the same question. It's a Tyus Bowser show live from the Bowman in Parkville. Um, I'm going to give you the same, both the same question. When you were in college, so a little bit more recently for you, Adafe, who would have been, you know, you guys didn't get take advantage of NIL. Mm -hmm. Who would have been the most logical company to have sponsored you when you were in college? Like, what were you, where was the place you were going out to? What were you eating the most of? Like, what would have been the most logical sponsor for you when you were in college if NIL had existed? Uh, people don't know this about me, but I used to love McDonald's so much. Really? I would eat McDonald's every day, you know. Before. Like, re wait, wait, you say you ate McDonald's every day? Every day. Why, bro? You got it, access it to so much. It gave me powers. I'm so, <laughs> hang on. If, if McDonald's wants to sponsor this show, I love McDonald's, <laughs> I and love I will McDonald's. eat there every day moving forward. Seriously? Every day? Big Mac, large. 10 piece chicken nuggets, sweet and sour. This is all one meal? One meal. One meal. Big uh, one Mac. Meal, yeah. 10 piece. So if they did, because they did like the, the Cactus Jack meal, yeah. if they did the Adafi Owe meal, this would be the, it would be a Big Mac. Big Mac, large, yep. with a high C orange, then uh, 10 piece chicken nuggets and sweet and sour sauce. And what? And sweet and sour sauce. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow, dude. That's it. Wow. When did that start? When did your. I've been eating McDonald's like religiously since probably, uh, you know, I was in middle school. Wow. Middle school. Wow, yeah. bro. I've stopped. How now. do you look like now. that? How do you I look like that? The same question. Man. I'm Nigerian. Well, all right, okay. That's all very right, fair, true, too. Fair, that is very true, too. Oh, Tyus, what about you? Who would have been the most logical? Oh, uh, man. Shout out to uh, Chick fil A, man. I mean, you know, <laughs> I they. Mean. They really. When he says every day, it would have been three times a day for me oh, at Chick fil A in college. Without a doubt, man. And then uh, Mia's Table. It's like an American uh, style restaurant, more like a family oriented uh, spot. And it's really chill. They have great food there, man. And like, really, every time I go back to Houston, because I stay in Houston now, yep. uh, every time I go back home, man, that's one of my main spots that I go to, whether it's just to eat or, you know, to hang out with people or really just to kind of, you know, get away from everything, relax that's or, cool. you know, whatever. So, I mean, Mia's Table has always got great food, man. So, shout out to them. Uh, Adafe, it just struck, like, are you still going to McDonald's every day? Like, nah, I, retire, right. I, retired. <laughs> <laughs> I retired. I mean, I know the food they make in the facility. Like, there's no way you need to be going nah, to McDonald's I, I, I anymore. Can't. It, it won't even sit right in my stomach now. So One of the, I don't remember, one of the, it might be McCary, one of the offensive linemen, like, legit goes to Subway every Every day, yeah. and I'm just like, bro, what? They, you have access to everything you could yeah. possibly want. Like, but what Subway are, be hidden though, man. Ah, Subway man be I'm not trying to food. knock Subway. I'm not trying to say anything salacious it, it about seems Subway. Like it, man. I'm, I'm not. I promise you, I'm not. I, I, I just Subway's feel like good. you can do better. I just feel like you can do better. That's all. I feel like you can do a little. Hey, whatever is available, man. You just gotta go with it. I, uh, I asked everybody what they wanted to know about you this week, Tyus. They want to know your go-to snack food. They want to know your go-to snack food. Go-to snack food. I'm a big um, I'm a big nutter butter guy. Wow. I love peanut butter. I love chocolate. This is like a flashback. So like that nutter butters. Um, Are you the type that like goes and buys a massive case? Uh, and, like, I get the fam. I get the family pack. Man. Yeah, man. The family pack. Whenever I'm chilling at the house or it's an off day. Just go right to that pantry, see my big old snacks in right there, <laughs> and I go and watch my reality TV. And, Sit down, and watch some Real Housewives, yeah, bro, exactly. some Nutter Butters. It's a great day for me. That's a pretty good Friday night, bro. That's a great, That's a pretty good great, Friday not pretty night. good, a great Friday night. Adafi, what about you? Go-to snack food. Go-to snack food. Um, You know, I love a good Lay's pack, but in terms of candy, it would probably be, it's weird. I love Laffy Taffy. Okay. I, love I mean, nobody's taffy. gonna hate on Laffy yeah, Taffy, bro. Like, Laffy, Laffy Taffy. Taffy's... I could kill a whole bag. That's probably my go-to. In one set, <laughs> you're gonna get a whole big old bag. A of... whole big bag. Bro, that's the way I was with Oreos. I, like I would get a thing of Oreo, I'd be like, that'll last me a week. And then you look back, you'd be like, oh, it lasted me a day. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of Oreos? I was okay. You I was always a like purist. A I, tr I try every time there's a new one out. You have to immediately go get a pack to try it. Okay. Okay. And in fact, I would bring them into the office. Like I needed to try it, and I knew if I didn't have them around other people, I would end up eating all of them by myself. Yeah. So like I would bring them into the office. That's like me. Right? Yeah, that's exactly like me. right. That's like exactly me. the same okay. deal. Okay. All right. So you, uh, Tyus, you brought up earlier. You said everybody's got to do something a little bit better. Can I assume that tackling is probably on that list for this week? Can was, I assume? It was definitely a point that was brought up during the meetings was tackling. So, yes, 
we definitely have to tackle a lot better and just really communicating, just staying together as a team, you know. You know, we're going to go through different phases through the game. You know, we're going to be at a good pace. We're going to be at a bad pace. But it's just all about sticking together, just con continue to um, communicate with each other, and just stick together, man. That's just the main thing. No doubt, man. No doubt. You you know, can you speak to the difficulty? There are people that would be like, man, you guys needed a last-second field goal to win. Can you talk to how difficult it is to win on the road in the NFL anywhere you go? And then particularly, as you guys alluded to, down as many dudes as you were to yeah. try to hang in there, hold them. By the way, shut them out for a half, yeah. which is remarkable, yeah. right? Like just the difficulty for people that are like, you should win every game by eight touchdowns, yeah. why it's not quite that easy. I mean, you got to understand that this is the National Football League, man, and we're playing against the greatest players in the world, you know, regardless of the team, whether they're 12-1, and 15-1, and 1, or 0-16, and like the – with the Browns, I yep. mean, yep. that was a that was a time where we didn't, you know, look at them any differently than the New England Patriots, you know, because that team was good, regardless of what your record is. You went is, up man. against those all those dudes good. in college, like you Absolutely. knew exactly. Those guys are legit, and people just don't understand that. You know, you can't look at the record. You got you got to understand you're playing against grown men who are the best in the world, and you got to bring it every single week, regardless of what their record is. No doubt, man. Adafi, this, this first taste of being a Baltimore Raven, these first few weeks, seeing you mentioned the jerseys and everything that you saw. You've been in the NFL for three weeks. People out here wearing your jersey tonight, man. Like, can you, can you put into words what the experience has been like for you being a Baltimore Raven? Yeah, it's, it's like I'm, I'm still living in a dream, like, because, you know, I, I had a dream of being in the NBA, having my, people wearing my NBA jersey. Now I'm in the NFL, I have people wearing my NFL jersey. So it's just, it's crazy because I had the chance to, you know, just build who, like, you know, the, the hype for me and, and my brand every single time I get on the field. And that's just like what I want to what I want to do. Just work hard for, you know, the city of Baltimore, for Maryland, and just, you know, try to bring something special to the team. So it's just, it's a blessing being in this position, you know, being able to, you know, put on for the Ravens, put on for my family. and. I just, I just can't wait to continue to do, do, do I, more. I, I remember talking to you before the draft, and, like, I, I sensed something from you that, like, you really thought Baltimore yeah. was, like, a legit uh -huh. possibility and, like, a legitimately unique fit. Yep. Can you speak to that? Like, go back to that. Mm -hmm. Did you kind of know this could end up working out really perfectly for you if it was that? It's crazy. I spoke to you right before I got drafted, and it was about, you know, getting drafted to Baltimore. And I spoke to someone else, and I was I really felt like I was coming here. I really felt like it felt good that, you know, this was going to be a great landing spot. My sister lives here. You know, it, it just it was just set up so perfectly. And for it to happen on draft day, me not getting drafted 27th, you know, Rashad getting drafted there. So I was like, okay, all right. <laughs> it might not happen. But then they got another pick from the Chiefs, and I was like, okay, okay, it might happen. And then 31 came and got the call from the Costa and everything, and it was just – you know, a rush of emotions, changed my name and everything. It was just crazy. It was crazy. For people, so are, pe are people still struggling with that at all? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. still a little bit of that going on. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to change your Twitter? Are you going to? I'm going to change it. I'm on the process of changing it now. It's a little hard. I'm trying to keep my verification. So. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's tough. You can't give that up. Exactly. Right? Gotta that's gotta important, that blue man. Check, man. It's coming. Got to keep that blue check. <laughs> man, Adafe Owe, ladies and gentlemen, our guest tonight. Hey, if you follow a tractor trailer too closely, it can't see you and you can't see what's in front of him. Tailgating could change our lives forever. If a truck stops quickly, can you? Don't tailgate trucks. This message is brought to you by the Maryland Department of Transportation State Highway Administration. Tyus Bowser, two weeks down. We're going to take a couple weeks off. Okay. You guys got a Monday night game in there, so that's going to be a short week. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be back in three weeks. Man. We'll be at Twain's Tavern down in Pasadena on October 19th. That'll be our next show. Um, I'm having a lot of fun hanging out with you. I'm on enjoying Tuesday. this, man. I'm, I'm really, this I'm, fun. I'm really enjoying, man. You're a great dude. Y'all like doing the show with Tyus Bowser, y'all. I like him. I like him right there. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Tyus, uh, remind everybody where they can follow you on Twitter uh, and Instagram too. Obviously. Yo, Instagram, man. Tyus T Y U S 23. And then uh, on Twitter, T Bowser, 
B O W S E R twenty three. And and Adafe, it's still Jason Owe on no, no. Twitter. So on Twitter, yeah, it's still Jason Owe. That's J A Y S O N O W E H. And then on Instagram is D A F E O W E H. Give him a follow in those spots. And you know what? We might not be able to take weeks off. I was reminded earlier today. Two shows both came after like two of the more historic things that we've ever seen. Yeah, man. And it's so like we got to kind of keep things going, man. Got to, got to man. Got to make keep doing it. All right, give it up one more time for Tyus Bowser and Adafe Owe. So many people to thank for making this show possible. Express Exterior Design, Great Eights Memorabilia, Dan Llewellyn. Man, thank you, Dan. Great. Get some Entertainment USA. We're going to be doing another show. What's the date? We're coming back. December 7th, we're back here for the Tyus Bowser Show. We're looking forward to that a great deal. Thank you, Dan. Thank you to your entire staff here. The Coco Brothers, love these guys. Thank you. John Colson, the entire team at Pressbox. Rita, I just love you for being you. Thank you all for coming out, man. Thank you all for coming out. And again, thanks to Adafe for uh, taking care of the Golden Fight uh, Children's Cancer Foundation. Please continue to support them and all the work they're doing. That's incredible stuff. Yes, sir. Window Nation, back to school sale right now. Get two free windows for every two you buy. Wood or vinyl styles. Buy four, get four free. There's no limit. Get an A-plus in savings and pay 0% interest for 24 months. 866-90NATION or windownation.com. We will see you guys on October 19th. For the entire team, I'm Glenn Clark. This has been the Tyus Bowser Show.